I keep. So very conscious that the most recent games I've been playing, they have been so ugly. When I look at the evaluation, so ugly. But they're only ugly because the opponent doesn't actually take advantage of the advantages that they have in the game. So I don't beat myself up too much because I want to play my own way. And if that looks ugly and it's terrible in the eyes of the purists, I'm not too bothered about that. I'm bothered about the fact of how the opponent reacts to that play. So we've been consistently playing not too bad. Knight could come here attacking, but then his queen comes and attacks our knight. I might save that one and just castle. Yeah, so it's all based on what the opponent actually does. So when I've gone through the recent evaluations of my games, I've gone, oh my gosh, if the opponent had just done this, I would have been in some serious trouble. You know, I'm still going to continue attacking the knight because we have a two-on-one situation here. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra, quite tasty taking this bishop. Still have the knight on, still have the bishop there. Got the rook just giving a little touch, bishop comes out. Let's disturb the knight a little bit here. And let's get cracking on the bishop. So if he castles we get the bishop. So it's going to be a bit of pressure. I think the knight's going to block. Queen's come to protect, so we still can take it if he does go and castle. So we could do some preventative work. If we bring our knight here, he's just going to push his pawn down. Could push the pawn here to say, well, you know, if you're going to put your knight there, the pawn will take. Let's do that for now. Might have been better bringing this pawn, actually, because then I would have opened up my bishop. See? Ugly play. There's loads of opportunities that I miss, I misplaced my pieces, all types of things have been going wrong with my games, but I have been coming out advantaged because our opponent, like I said, hasn't taken advantage of them. So it's looking to sweep down here, so shall we entice the pawn to come down? Let's entice the pawn to come down, then attack his knight and the queen. He's not actually come down, so he's looking, he's doubly protecting this area here, so that's quite clever actually. But we've got a fork on his rook and his queen now so we get the rook for free well not for free but so he's still got this pressure again with this pawn so i'm going to open this pawn now so we can open up the dark square bishop he may negate the fact of castling he might not bother he might just bring his king to the side now so then he brings his rook here problem with doing that is the queen can actually take the bishop but that's probably the only thing or moving his knight out of the way but then we take the bishop moving the knight out of the way here so that maybe a pawn moves then his king sits there so it's, he's then at least he's got two pieces protecting so that's potentially the sort of thought process potentially knight here so that he can push this pawn down because he's looking very worried about it he's making space for something uh, at the minute he's still got the 2 on 1 protection with the king and the queen so we can't necessarily go there but he didn't want our bishop coming to attack his knight so that's why he's done that so we could push a pawn here but we don't really want to open up anywhere I think we can still bring the bishop out somehow could attack his queen but we don't have any support Let's just do a steady move like this. So he has gone and done that move that he said. So he's moved dead quick, but we go for a checkmate. For the 15 minute, 10 second game. I've just um, jumped onto this guy's um, game. Uh, 2021. So I'm looking to play a stronger game. I'm not interested in the lose or the you know that draw or the, even the win. I'm just wanting to just play a high level player today just to see where we're currently at. So just developing the knight, supporting the pawn, keeping it as simple as possible, as best possible. Just capture here, bring the queen back when the knight attacks. He 
if there's anything unusual then let's start doing yes so let's push through the middle here it's not unusual we can take usually tend to see them pushing down then we can push here uh, so it's not a winning thing it's just um, from evaluation of my previous games in this type of position the computer <laughs> suggests attacking the pawn here if it comes there then you attack here and I've always doubted it but I'm trying to put it into my mental roller decks just to say well okay if it keeps doing that then um, it finds the proper continuations after it so it's not a bad position but in this particular example I've done this quite a few times in a few of my games so you may be able to backtrack on them and um, some of them have been more advantageous than not which is a good thing but it is quite scary because you're like giving up a pawn in a sense you know if the pawn does take you're taking with the queen you either get the 20 pointer because the king takes if the knight takes then you can take the pawn here but he does have an elevated pawn on the bottom so it's not that great but i suppose it's something because as we can see this opponent is actually thinking about what to do here do we take or do we push forward with a, an elevated pawn probably best pushing forward with the pawn just to have an, an you know it's it's going to be further up the board it's more more issues for my own development of my knight and that type of thing but at the same token we do have the bishop that potentially could come here but you have to be mindful of this action here with the queen because then the knight can't come here to protect the bishop so that's probably in the back pocket probably just bringing the bishop here to castle so it's all sorts of things but it depends on what the opponent's going to do and they've gone into the gone into the tank and they've eventually captured so they've worked out that it's not that great a position for black but um they're going to take the chance anyway so their king can't go and castle now which is a good thing for us bishop could come and attack the king pawn just drops so developing their pawn so we're not going to do that our knight is under attack so we could attack the pawn obviously this pawn is going to come down only issue i've got is it's blocking my own bishop on that side so we could come here and attack it from the back side obviously the pawn is still going to come down okay let's uh, do that then we have the option of coming here the bishop will take and open up so do we castle king side queen side or do we castle at all attacking this pawn as well knights defending so again bishop could have come through here to take the knight but it can't because it's there so we grab this pawn so i'm not going to rush it now i mean look at that i'm not even broken the 15 minute mark so at this moment in time it seemed to have been played out in the way that the computer would have pushed forward in terms of development well it's pushed forward in terms that i can understand yeah so after this don't really know you can expect probably a small piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong now he's got his knight in front of the king potential king area his bishop's chomping at the bit to get across here his king can't castle he's going to want to get his bishop out he's going to want to get his rooks hooked up onto this open file Okay, but it's going to be castling by hand that's probably what he's going to be thinking but a higher rated player these 20,000 pluses they like to show off with the fact that well I don't need to castle to beat you so you have to be mindful of that as well well I have to be anyway Bishop still got his eye on the knight so in essence could end up taking and just jumping back to the same position again attacking the pawn it's a bit long drawn out but they really do take the time and plus it's a 10 second 10 second increment so they're probably very experienced at this um, sort of play really taking the time x-raying through to the pawn here as we can see so we could bring our bishop out to defend obviously he knows this so knight coming here attacking the bishop and the pawn i think that's pretty simple isn't it defend just bring the bishop here don't want to do anything crazy 
but when you're playing like the two you know two thousand pluses you know they try to be cl clever and fancy i want to try and keep it basic as possible we've kept it as basic as possible up to this point now there must be some sort of loophole that they want to take advantage of one loophole is this bishop isn't defended this knight's not developed so he's looking to get the rook out as best possible he's not bothering about castling by hand at the minute he's wanting to get his pieces activated uh, it looks like he's wanting his rooks to play on this file rather than that file okay so i'm more interested in trying to get his pieces off the board issue i've got with taking this is that it opens up the pawn here and then his rook doesn't have to do much and is now then attacking our king side area but there have been games where i've seen like after evaluation the computer's just castled into that area anyway and it's not bothered about the fact that this can actually open up the rook so that's where my mind's currently at just thinking or i could just develop the bishop just to get it off the back do have the concern of this knight attacking the bishop but it's just attacking the bishop the pawn can take then we can develop our own knight and then queenside castle maybe it doesn't look meaty enough it ne i need to be attacking something i personally believe that's being a little bit fancy it's like a waste of a move take it opens up the rook is there i don't want to lose tempo by trying to go on queenside castle that is my i don't think i should knight could come here but can't do that just yet you know attacking this pawn i'm actually going to bring the bishop here going back to the first move there is potential for the knight coming here attacking this pawn dancing a bit at least there's a positive out of that move and at the same time oh the king's going castling by hand he's looking to control this area with his rook right do we dance this way or do we dance that way oops his bishop's got that so we could bring the knight here he's going to quickly run to once we move here he's going to quickly bring one of the rooks to here and what is he pressuring the bishop then the bishop takes so we move the knight he moves the rook we castle queen side rooks defending bishop takes bishop takes rook probably not going to take I think that's all right you know now let's have a look at the concerns knight can develop coming down here attacking the bishop pawn can take okay his knight can come into here but the bishop can take his knight can come there it's not too much of a concern is it yeah okay let's do the knight so it all seems to be falling into place as to what we said he was potentially going to be doing looking to get the rooks here and there powering down on this side we didn't really want to entertain that move we'll have a look at the evaluation afterwards so again when i'm playing like two thousands i'm really chuffed that i can even get to this stage here um don't know what move it is now but just move my little head out of the way move 11 so that's quite nice yeah So at least we've got to 11 moves and we think yeah the rooks come in there we know all about this stuff so we're going to castle now like we said queenside and hope fingers crossed there's nothing too deadly i mean bishop maybe here maybe the knight here attack, trying to attack this pawn maybe he brings his bishop back trying to attack here i'm not too sure but we've covered off the basic moves i think that the opponent is going to attempt to try and do pushing here doubling up the rooks So it's a sitting waiting game now to see what the opponent actually does we do have a little t 
tempo win here with the knight coming across attacking the king so I'll keep that in the back pocket so there's all sorts of stuff going on here got two double attacks going on and bishop it being here but it's not developing just yet yeah, they're taking good time over the moves don't want to fall into a trap I want to be able to spot what it is that the opponent's trying to do as I mentioned in the five minute blitz um, game yeah, today some of the games that I've been playing recently they have been so shocking when I've looked at the evaluation afterwards um, I felt good playing them you know during them so because we've not been doing too bad we've got advantages in quite a lot of the games uh, but looking at the evaluation afterwards I've gone man that was ugly that was really ugly I don't mind playing an ugly game you know and I'll continue playing ugly games it's just I look at it and I go oh my gosh that if the opponent had seen it the game was over but we find that in a lot of games you know even grandmaster games you know if the opponent had seen it it would have been over so he's come down attacking the bishop and we did say it wasn't a concern but we said well look at the points what he can do so I think now it's about trying to develop our pieces to be strong if he gets rid of the bishop then we don't have this attacking this here but is he really attacking the bishop or is he attacking the pawn so we're not really threatening anything maybe he's just doing it to attack a piece <coughs> so I don't think we'll be silly enough to do that we could attack the bishop if the bishop took then we can take with the rook or the pawn could take with the rook and then double up the rooks I think he's looking at end game pawn position now isn't it really so if you have a look he's got like one two three four on this side and he's got two on this side we've got three on this side we've got three on this side so pawn majority we've got on the on the queen side he's got pawn majority on the king side so he may be looking to do so he's doing forward planning So we've got the touch here with the onto the king. So giving them something to think about. This king can't come down here. Yeah, he can't go there. It's not going to go in front of his king, his rook. So he's probably just going to sit back here or sit back there. Okay. So these key squares. So after we've gone here, he goes there, maybe to protect the pawn. Probably goes there to protect the pawn because we do have the bishop attacking here. Yeah, I tried to make something of it. And he's got his knight protecting that square. Yeah, I'd be a bit too slow, won't I? Yeah, yes. Could bring the bishop to attack his bishop. But then his knight is hovering around here, so that's not a good thing. Could just push onto the knight. Small piece attacking the high piece. Take back with the pawn, it's just that it splits the pawns up in front of his pawn majority. So looking at the end game type thing, is that gonna be any good? Man, I talk a lot. Crikey. Okay, so let me see, let me see. Choices, choices, choices. Boom. Gives him something to think about. His king goes back. Knight's in a prominent position here. There. Boom, attack the bishop. Bishop takes. Knight takes. Knight takes. Yeah, I don't like the look of that. Don't like the look of that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, nope. Right this has got to be the magic move could bring the bishop back attacking the knight and also the rook if the rook takes don't have to do any of that though rook takes rook takes that's pretty straightforward but then this knight will fall this pawn will fall so that's not a good thing 
Mm, I don't really want this going here like this. Maybe we could. Mm, not too sure. Knight attacking this bishop here. That seems basic enough, doesn't it? If he takes, then we take. But then the pawn majority is gone. But then we've got a pawn that can potentially kind of fence a little bit with his um, pawn majority on this side. I think I'm missing something. Knight attacks. He doesn't have to take the bishop. His bishop doesn't have any protection. He could go here, knight taking the bishop. Disheveling my pawns again. Which I don't really want. Mm. Then he could just move his bishop back. So then, do I take? Then he takes whichever way. I've got this isolated pawn in the center here. And I'm still here. Yeah. He doesn't have to do anything, does he? Yeah, good call, good call. I think that's as the most basic one where I don't lose out too much, but I lose out in terms of that end game position that they're looking for. I know they're searching for it, the fact they've got the poor majority on this side. It might make a little bit of difference, but it's a move order thing now, so bang, 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 whichever way. He might not even do any of that. He could just come and double up here and all sorts of stuff. So I spent a good, what is it, five, six minutes there on that calculation. And <laughs> I think I've tried to cover off in my back of my head potentially what he is planning to do as best possible and see if I can block it off and see if there's any equal exchanges so that I don't feel too bad about my position so he does actually capture now we could take with the rook like we said if we take with the rook he doesn't have to take with his rook but let's say he does the pawns here again meets this pawn quite nicely Obviously his rook is going to come again because this pawn doesn't have any support. And then if we have to bring our rook across to protect the pawn, look at this pawn that is um, not ready to be. So we're going to have to. And he's got two on ones with the knight as well. There's all sorts of stuff. My creative brain is just going absolutely crazy here. As you can tell, absolutely. It's just... Bruh it's taken over logical now and that's not the way we want to practice is it we want to be practicing trying to get the logical brain beat in the creative brain creative brain is lovely look at all the stuff that it talks about you know throughout this game um, to safeguard us and um, we logicalize those based on the experience of the evaluations of the games but now we're getting into the meat of the bones of the game creative brain creative thinking is just absolutely going nuts there's a loss in rhythm that potentially could happen well we've not done it we've actually gone with the pawn so if we'd taken with the rook there was a loss in rhythm and we potentially would have lost this pawn if the opponent had played it correctly i'm not saying they will but they're really taking their time they're going into the tank on this so I am so pleased that we're playing a 2021 um, in this state. Okay, so it's taken. So it brings our pawn here. Going to take anyway. Don't need to overthink because that's what we have to do, I think. Now look how, sp look how fast he's moving. What's the need for the speed now? You know, so they've put all their thought into it. Our knight can come here defending our pawn. If he pushes down, do we have a magical form? Because they move there so fast, yeah. I'm just thinking now, this is this might be the time where we can find a loophole in their armour. OK, 
okay so we can't push it because obviously he's got the check on the king so now they're feeling they're being clever I'm not going to move as fast as that um, could go here bishop takes no could always bring the rook to protect the pawn and that's probably what we're going to end up doing so that's the that's the critical one I think just basically bringing the rook here um, because he does have a check on our king can't go here because he's got the check on our king with his um, bishop so let's play this out we bring the rook here what's his knight wanting to do his knight's wanting to get busy putting a two on one on this pawn we still do have this type of stuff going on okay let's keep it simple right we're on four minutes but it's a 10 second increment so oh, now they're going really fast like um they've got things sewn up i don't believe they have got things sewn up i think they're moving fast now because they're realizing that whoa this guy is only a 1922 i'm a 2021 so he can't be beating me so we have to try and prove that we can stay up there with them i'm hovering over this knight because potentially the knight can come here the only reason why i'm hovering is the fact that the smaller piece attacking a higher piece is going to kick in if the pawn does drop we can't really take because he's got the x-ray through with his knight with his um, bishop so is there any point might as well just leave it and let him double our pawns up on this side hmm interesting do 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 right here it's obvious the pawn is going to come down here where can the knight go from the bearing in mind we're saying basically we know that this pawn is going to go if the bishop's going to take he's going to take it for a doubling of the pawn so is there a damaging position that the knight this knight can go to from that point if he goes there uh, it doesn't look too meteor position uh, could come down but it's not really causing uh, shattering situations is it no might have to leave that knight and just let it get doubled up we could always bring the rook across here like we said and attack this pawn but well, i think we'll lose out in tempo we capture capture then either his rook comes here to support i don't think it's devastating is it no it's not devastating let's go with that it might be an ugly position we're making the opponent think they're 2021 i can't grumble at all we discussed this poor majority that they were going to have on this side here that's going to potentially cream us we're going to have double pawns on this side so we can work with double pawns we have done in the past so we're not too phased by that so he's gone and defended straight away so now our knight can actually jump here In, just immediately my brain went was that a rookie mistake was that a bit of a silly quick move there I mean because they that doesn't look like they've taken advantage of the position so we bring the knight here obviously the bishop comes back to defend this pawn but it's kind of it looks like kind of in defense mode almost like they've given us the tempo back because they moved a bit quick issue is we're on two minutes so this is potentially why they're moving quick so we'll speed up a bit we're okay with the bullety blitzy type stuff so i'm not too bothered about that and like i said we only play one one of each game and i've jumped in on this one because i thought well it's a 20 it's a 20 2021 and give me a bit of a game bit of a thinking process wanted to talk through a game you know and um, explain the four processes so i don't know why they're taking so long here because the bishop would be coming back unless of course i've missed some i might have missed some the opponent may be doing something yeah there we go right so what's the crack we can come here with the pawn but obviously his pawn is just going to drop down onto us so do we have a safe square to come back we can come back here 
and we can push this pawn but he's got like one two three three pieces on there and I feel like moving my king off of this diagonal because his bishop's looking to get it and this pawn is okay there actually you know I'm just going to move this pawn to do something the ball's in his court now so he needs to over expand you know extend out and um, show me what he's got I'm happy with what I've done uh, so if he's going to get a checkmate on me then so be it but I'm happy with this game really chuffed do, 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 do. so at the minute these squares are kind of blocked off but I think that'll change in a few seconds see now they've slowed down because we kind of circumvented their potential attack process who would you say was winning at this moment in time I'd probably give it to white I would give it to white if they played the cards correctly I'd give it to them okay so the rook is down and immediately I was thinking here but I can't do that until I do this if I do that and then look to do that just to do something it seems practical because it's attacking the queen and also the bishop but nothing's concrete it's, yeah it's come for that I know I should have moved it there let's move it <laughs> should have moved it first but hey so he's attacking our knight now so he's panicking because he can see this coming in so we're going to do this anyway put the check on the king could go there but there's nothing there at the minute I'm gonna have to bring this knight back out it looks like could bring it here and the knight can come back around and defend if the bishop takes but do we have problems with this pawn here because he's gonna double up on it isn't he or triple up even yeah so hefty game hefty game I need to stop clicking up the pieces preemptive moves A little bit of a small move attacking here okay so i'll just push on to the bishop i just want to see what they do um i i haven't got i haven't got anything it's gonna take we'll take i was gonna bring the knight back here but i'm thinking we need to destruct do some destructive work while his rooks are in this type of position not necessarily linked up let's just attack maybe and that might have been wrong you know but um i think he's treasuring his bishop so i'll be sure i'll be shocked if he lets the bishop go unless of course he sees a different line that i'm i can't see and it's shocking because i'm giving up my precious knight to attack a bishop and yeah he treasures the bishops now the problem we've got is when we move this knight his bishop can take our pawn so is there not anything that our knight can attack this good attack but his bishop can take so that's the that's the issue with doing that type of thing he escaped and now i don't have anything to attack could bring my knight here and attack but he's got his rooks defending this area so he's going to get a free knight if I don't move the knight and I don't want him to have a free pawn although in essence if you have a look at it if I move my knight back here and his bishop takes then I come here oh but then his pawn can come and protect the bishop hmm so if I go here bishop takes bring the rook across bishop moves no that doesn't look good I have to take the chance on it but I don't think I think his bishop's going to um, protect I'm on one minute and something now so I need to um, get some speed going night 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 okay let's do that
Oh, he's got the night idiot. <laughs> After all that brilliant work, he's got the night. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> oh, you can see where I'm going here. Oh, my gosh. We've opened it up now. We've opened up a can of worms. We're going to crucify them for the greed. So let's class that as a set player thing. Because we want to get towards their king area and start destructing them. His bishop can't come back here to come here to defend. <coughs> so he's going to have to move his rook. I mean he's going to move his rook anyway so it's no, no big shakes. I can't believe that shame. Oh dear me. That's too blase. That's what I'm saying. I'm playing some shocking games, you know. Getting some nice positions got some good stories to tell but then my calculation just disappears for a brief moment so now they're taking the time and uh, milking every second of it but we get here his rook moves somewhere get this rook push this pawn do something Oh, that's unlucky, is that? That's unlucky. I cannot believe that. Damn. Oh, man. But he's got to figure out how to win if he wants to win. So we're still in the game. So it may take longer than they still think. We have seen worse positions. Let's see what their bullets like. Oh, I can't see it from there. Mind you, bullet with a 10 second increment, that's not really bullet, is it? <laughs> oh, so he's moved his knight, so he's coming in for what looks like some type of. Um, kill position if the knight comes here then he's opened up space for his rook to come across here and his bishop can come here and basically look to come down here type situation crossing around yeah or we could move our rook here first then he brings his rook take 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 uh, let's go with the rook seeing as he's done this knight move to open up a deadly file on 53 seconds but I'm not even panicked I was really chuffed with this game up until that um, knight debacle but never mind these things happen <laughs> it's not won yet though he could be looking to trade down because he has more pieces on the board he brings there then we can just take then his king takes no issues there could always still go with this but obviously we're giving him that what's the real danger if his rook gets down here well so if the bishop gets there rook comes down yeah so let's just take this off the board we don't need that um so if the king is here what's the the knight isn't getting a check position on it is it nah could put a check on him here it's probably checkmate almost actually you know <laughs> look at that oh so close Obviously the rook comes in defence because of this square here. If that rook wasn't there and something else was there, whoo, that would have been a checkmate. That would have me oh look at this. Oh dear. But his king's just gonna come to the side here, isn't it? Wow, this is what I call about causing trouble. Look at the boom check. <laughs> it's not gonna be happy with that. 
king here obviously I'm celebrating for nothing because now I have to take his rook because when his king comes there yeah I have to take his rook I don't have any more checks on him uh, no I don't have any more checks on him no. uh, da, 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 da. I could come down for his bishop Does that work? Could come down for his bishop, his king takes our knight, making him work a little bit harder. Or just take the rook off the board, it's harder work for him with the bishop and the knight. Yeah, let's do that. It's harder work for him with the bishop and knight. Oh, I've got 30 seconds left. Are these seconds moving slow? Um, down, down, down. Let's get down here. Woo, this is getting quite interesting, isn't it? He's going to get the shock of his life if he actually loses this, isn't he? <laughs> or she. <laughs> oh, I, I like games like these. Obviously not making the knight blunder type thing, but I like games like these. Especially against higher, a lot higher rated players because they get, they're get so shocked. It's like, you can't, you can't do that to me. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, I'm really chuffed. Is it not my goal yet? No. So he's coming down, so is my knight getting trapped in any way? I'm going to bring my knight even further down here. Yeah, maybe get the king across. Bishop's going to be jumping all over it. Come on, Mr. 2000 and something or the other. So he's blocked that already. Could go there, but we're going to could go there and attack the bishop get the bishop off the board no maybe not maybe not let's leave the bishop dance dance let's dance this must be annoying for them Dance, dance, and then the knight somehow gets trapped because the last square that is a it's a white square, so his bishop can just go here. Oh, he's missed that. Let's go here. Oh, has he? Let's still go here, blocking the knight. Oh, he's not doing that. He's panicking. He's panicking. Have I got a fork on his pieces at all? No, no, no. Let's grab and. Bring the knight down. He's got the linked pawns now, so maybe a rhinoceros head. This one, it's just that he's got a white square bishop and it's gonna jam up the game. This is doing a nice job stopping this knight from jumping here, though, isn't it? Let's push this. <laughs> This is so funny. Oh dear. He knows he has to bullet out his moves now. If he gets down to one minute, that's going to be so funny. Oh, it's, he's not falling for nothing. Don't want knight on the rim, really, do we? I think the knight's going to end up being trapped and these pawns are just going to come flying down. His king can come round the side. How do we play this? How do we play this? Don't really want it on the rim, but it's on a dark square. Uh, this king's his knight moves and his king comes down for this pawn. I don't think I'm getting much further. Let's go there. Knight moves, maybe we'll get the king here. Try to do a bit of blocking or some sort, but his king is so elevated down, it's gonna be getting these pawns. But that's okay because I've had a fantastic game and the television has come on. And my seconds are running down. Did he move his. Has he moved? No, okay. got to be contemplating this type of situation I've got to be looking at looking some sort of lively business something like that I can't just leave it there 
Like I said, I think the knight's moving so his king can come down and start causing some trouble. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> now my knight can't actually go here because his knight is blocking this area. Oh, gotta hurt me. Can't do anything. Let's go here, see if we can... I don't think we can get to the night in time positive thinking positive thinking we can get to the night in time has he got a fork du, 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 du. I'm surprised he did the king move and he's moved and we can take and he doubles his pawns that's not what we're having though because we want the bishop let's go here go on move fast move fast go on move fast move faster we just come on you can do it oh, look how he's taking his time now hey that would have been beautiful snapping up that bishop after all of this come on come on i made a mistake earlier on come on cut me some slack oh for shine on harvey moon and you know what i can't actually get it now because his knight's protecting that square well, go for it anyway, but I'm not going to take the bishop. <clears throat> Just put the check on the king. Yeah, take yourself back to Wednesday game. Let's uh, go over here. No, it's nice putting checks on my king. I can't get anywhere. Well, that's the story to be told, isn't it? Go like that. 29 seconds. God, he's getting down to a minute. And he's moved the bishop out of the way. Let's push here. Oh, no, 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 no. What's happening? Oh, he's going to get my pawns into here. I probably need to go this side, don't I? He's got two pawns against one here as well. There's no point actually going for his knight, is there? Nah, let's go here. And forget about the bishop. Let's whip it off the board. This poor bishop's getting a little bit of potential threats on it. Maybe we're going to get it off. Maybe we're going to get it off the board. Okay can't go there because his bishop's blocking everything's blocked up I can't do nothing I can just go here but his pawns are just gonna come dancing down oh, no square to go to oh hurt me 10 seconds no squares to go to oh dear bang 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 okay good effort Whew. at least we went down fighting yeah down 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 but there's nothing to do is there let's go here thinking i'm blocking this but he's got a white square bishop that's just going to come all the way back around here so that he can push the pawn down there and we have a check on the king we have a check on the king but that's no good that doesn't take me anywhere it doesn't do anything for me i have no advantages in this but hopefully it's showing you know don't give up just keep on going i like practicing these games like this it helps to firm up or, or develop the creative brain oh, he's moved his king off of any potential checks and he's attacking the pawn as well I can't even go there with my king because his knight is blocking that area. So this is looking a bit not too clever really. Bring the knight down defending, give them something to think about. Not much to think about. If he had any sort of sense and stuff, he'd be pushing these pawns down. I, I can't stop these. And the knight, the bishops here. The annoying bishop. I wish I could take that bishop off the board somehow, you know. Uh, just come around here 
No, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. Let's do that. I don't know why I'm doing that because they're going down. He gets the bishop into the position anyway that we said where the pawn can just come down. Ooh, and there's nothing else for my knight to do. This is that'll be a last last ditch attempt because there obviously his pawn's down. So then if I go here, he just drops onto the knight. I can't get the pawn. There's no position that I will have. Oh, it looks like we've lost on time. That's a damn shame. Okay. Interesting game.